Well, here we are. Another day in the life. Five o'clock in the morning. Gotta go get my trailer. Heading for Hanford this time. We're on the road. That's well, Hanford, about an hour and 15 minutes. I don't drive that fast pulling my trailer. Maybe an hour and a half. I don't know. We'll see. This is, this is the part of, uh, work in a renaissance fair that the people, the, the patrons, the, the people that make it possible for me to do this, they don't see this part. Yeah, I'm out there rocking, I'm having fun, they're handing me money. That's what they see. Yeah, they don't see putting fuel in the truck, six dollars a gallon for diesel. They don't see paying for insurance. They don't see getting ready to go the day before. Uh, traveling and set up. The day before traveling and set up. Yeah, they don't see that. Then they don't see the traveling and set up. They don't see the tear down and all of that work. Um, all they see is two or three minutes of me playing with them and, and having fun, and they think that's what, uh, that's what my life is doing this. There's a lot of work that goes into this, as all of you who own or work in the booth, you all know this. The rest of you, hey. This is why I laugh at the 12-year-old boys when they ask me if they can have a free ride. <laughs> yeah, right. Free ride. Because this doesn't cost me anything either. Hey, we'll see you guys out on the road. Diesel's mighty tired, but she's still getting the job done. 318,000 miles. I'm 
keep in this truck. I don't need a new one. Alright. 99 freeway. Now we get to see Whoa, slow down big guy. How long is it going to take us to get to Hanford? This is uh, pretty much standard procedure on the 99. Hopefully as we get farther away from Bakersfield, uh, conditions will improve a little bit. Coming off of the 178, the, the ramp coming onto the 99, there was dust flying everywhere. I was, figured I was driving into the middle of an accident here, but uh, I didn't see one. Ken used to work on that brake drum. So, this is the 99. We'll see what time we get to Hanford. Well, we found the problem. 99 is famous for accidents. It's, it's, it's pretty much, you know, if you're getting on the 99, coming home from an event, going to an event, uh, north, south, it doesn't matter. Something's going to screw up. Hey, and it wasn't even an accident. It's just somebody that stopped in the fast lane. Didn't run into anything. Hey, my car's not running. What do I do? Uh, go for the shoulder. Get out of the lane of traffic. You're gonna get killed, son. So, there's only a few minutes of that. Off we go. Up on the off ramp here for Hanford. It's kind of a hazy morning. Uh, you know, it's hard to say what exactly that is. Dust from the almond orchards. Smog. Morning moisture. You know, it's, it's hard to say. It's just not real beautiful and clear this morning, we'll put it that way. There's 10th Avenue. We don't go that way. We'll go on up to the next light and turn right. That takes us down to the part of the side of the park downtown that we need to be on. Kind of an interesting little town, Hanford. It's been around a long time. Out here in the farmlands, got some interesting old buildings. The balconies, the overhangs, the brickwork. A neat little place. Don't know for sure that I'd want to live here, but it's a fun place to come and visit. When we're at this park, you can walk across the street and get the best burger in town. You can walk a couple blocks up the street, and get the best sushi in town. You can walk across the street in the other direction and get the best ice cream I, probably not just in town, but for quite a distance around. Now, is this... He's not going to go. Okay. The park itself is surrounded by beautiful old buildings. It's a lot of fun to get into with this big truck and trailer, though, I'll tell you. 
course, I'm being sarcastic. It's not fun at all. Fox Theater's right over there. They actually have a shoe shine stand. A functioning, the real thing, shoe shine stand. Time to turn on my four ways. And even though I'm here nice and early, there's already people here in the way. Uh, sun directly in my eyes. Check the temperature on my tires, just by by feel. I don't have a thermometer with me, but uh, two right side tires on the trailer are running really hot. I think they're defective, coming apart internally, and they're going to have to be replaced. So there's another 300 bucks. Okay, I'm unloaded. Yeah, they're, they're working on getting me blocked in here, but I think I'm going to get out of here without being blocked in. People sticking their feet out here like they want to get them ran over. was not designed for me to drive around in. I can tell you that much right up front. get my usual parking space over across from the police station a half a block down from the burger stand which will work out well one car parked over there hopefully by the time I get there that'll still be all there is shoe shine stand you just don't see that very often. <clears throat> ah. Oh, I get to parallel park the truck and trailer. Cool. <laughs> People are often shocked when they see this being done. Ha! 
damn I'm good. Gotta, gotta straighten it out just a little bit here. Now, we gotta make sure we're perfect. Without hitting that little car behind me there. There we go. Now I unhook the truck, take it back over there.